a movie I've been looking forward to for a while now. I finally get to talk about the eighth movie in the franchise. It's all about family. Alright, so The Fate of the Furious is the 8th movie in the Fast and Furious franchise. It's the 4th movie if you don't count the first 4, which I usually don't. It's a different franchise at this point, let's be honest here. And in this movie, Dom and Letty, they're on their honeymoon until all of a sudden Charlie Theron comes along she tells Dom, Hey, you know what, you're gonna work for me now. You're gonna turn your back on your family. And then Dom goes, I never turn my back on family. And then she says, well yeah, you're going to because family. There is a reason that Dom is working for her. A lot of people theorized it was going to be mind control. It's not mind control though, and I'm saying that now because I feel like that was a big turnoff for this movie. But anyways, Dominic Toretto has gone rogue, and it's up to The Rock and the rest of his crew to bring him to justice. And I gotta say, I really did enjoy Fast 8. This movie is kind of what you would come to expect from all the other Fast and Furious movies. At least the last three that they made, so 5, 6, and 7, and now 8. Bad acting, cheesy one-liners, a lot of baby oil, and a couple street races sprinkled into submarines and towers and planes. One of my favorite parts about this movie is the fact that Jason Statham, the villain from the last movie, he now has to help out The Rock and the rest of Dom's crew in order to find Dom and Charlie Theron. And when The Rock and Jason Statham are on screen, when they're at each other's throats, it's some of the most entertaining name-calling threats, one-liner jokes that we've seen in this series. And when the action is going down in this movie, I think it is pretty fun. There's this one scene in the trailer where Charlie Theron like hacks into all these cars, and there's all these cars just running around New York City. When I saw that in the trailer, I was like, that's just, that's pushing it a little bit. It's gonna be a big CGI slop. And in the movie, that was my least favorite action scene, but most all of the other fights I I thought were really cool. I really like the submarine chase. I like some of the hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff. What's great about these Fast and Furious movies now is that they know what they are. They know that they are just ridiculous, over-the-top, kind of 80s-styled action movies. And Fate of the Furious is able to deliver on that promise on more than a few occasions. However, where this movie falters is that in that spectrum, you can have a couple of different tones. And this movie doesn't really hone in on one tone, and granted, you can have a couple different tones in a movie as long as they mesh. But this movie has some of the darkest elements of the Fast and Furious movies, but it also has some of the campiest parts of the Fast and Furious movies. A couple things happen with Charlie Theron and Vin Diesel where I'm like, that was pretty dark. Really dark for a Fast and Furious movie. Which was cool and it was interesting, but then you also have other scenes with The Rock and it's like, am I watching The Tooth Fairy right now? Again, it was still funny because it's just so out of left field, but it feels like the movie is jumping between about two or three different movies at some times. And another place where this movie falters is logic and physics. Yeah, it's a Fast and Furious movie. I'm not expecting perfect physics. In fact, I'm expecting video game physics. I'm expecting it to be ridiculous. But then some of the logic in this movie. Alright, this movie is kind of like Spectre in the sense that it does rely on your knowledge of past movies. Like, Charlize Theron is kind of tied to what happened in 6 and 7, and I don't really buy the fact that she would have been behind those events. And as much as I love seeing The Rock and Jason Statham on screen together and cracking their jokes, I also didn't really buy the fact that Jason Statham would end up working with Dom and his crew, and I also don't buy the fact that the crew would trust Jason Statham. This is like the villain of the last, this is the best villain that Fast and Furious has ever had. He killed one of their crew members, and about 15 minutes after his initial introduction, they're like, okay, you're in the crew now. I just didn't buy all of that. It was cool to see, but if you pull back and you're like, wait, but point A to point B is supposed to lead to point C? And it really just doesn't. I just, I just didn't buy any of that. However, if you can turn your brain off and just shove popcorn in your face for this movie, it's pretty cool. So for The Fate of the Furious, I didn't like it as much as 5 and 6. I do think I might have liked it a hair more than 7, though. It's a fun movie. It's what you would expect from Fast and Furious. Sweet stunts, bad dialogue, bad acting. But almost everybody in this movie, again, almost everybody. They know what type of franchise they're in, they ham it up, and they have a lot of fun with it. There's also this one guy who's supposed to be like the Paul Walker substitute. He's played by Scott Eastwood, Clint Eastwood's son, and I was kind of like, all right, parts of it, he's okay, parts of it, not so much. Almost forgot to mention him, but he, he was okay. I feel like there's two groups of Fast and Furious fans. There's the fans that really love the street racing movies, and there's fans that really love the over-the-top action movies. This movie is definitely more for the over-the-top action movie fans of Fast and Furious. At this point in the franchise, you know whether or not you enjoy these movies. If you'd enjoyed the last three movies, check out Fate of the Furious you'll probably like it. If you didn't like the last three movies, you probably won't like this one. And that's about it. So, your favorite character in Fast and Furious, whoever that is, let me know down in the comments. For me, it's easy. The Rock. He's great. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, you can click subscribe and check out some of my other videos, and I'll catch you guys next time.